Hey guys, how y'all doing? I just wanted to show you this really cute chair. I like the, you know, the gravy, you know, it's a grave, you know, kind of thing with the rose and all that inside this chair and all, it's an antique chair. Excuse me. Then I got off the next door. Um, I like to find antiques and all, um, because I've always liked antiques. I don't like to just get some piece of furniture and throw it together and have a desk. I like actually something that, you know, has been around a long time and all, and I just always like antiques. So anyways, here's this. That needs to be redone and I can redo that. It's in that shape, I'm not gonna keep it like that. I can rewrap it to something else, you know, some other fabric that should pop off on the back. There's, that's gross. There should be some screws on there on the back that I can just pop that off and everything. Here's the mirror I was telling you about. Um, you know, the mirror's gone, but you know, I can, that's really cool. I can make it into, what do you call it? I mean, like a dresser, you know, the old way of having a dresser and all with the mirror. And then um, this is supposed to be connected. And thank God, I mean, he had it connected with some kind of nasty glue there. And it was straight that off. Didn't really put that on that good. So it, that was lucky that it stayed on there, not nasty glue. Not very good glue they put on there or whatever. I mean, I have to take all that glue off and put it on there better. There's a little hole there that gets, it goes in between this hole here, over here, I guess, to get it in there or whatever. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that, I don't think. I'm gonna use it as a desk. There'll be some way to get this off. Hold on a second, there's some way. I'm gonna have to stain the bottom, the top part of it. But there's some way to take this off. Okay, where this comes off, and I guess this part comes off here. I hope that the cat's been sitting on it. The cat has been sitting on this with that thing flipped over. I don't know why, but she's, he likes doing it. I don't know if this whole piece comes off or what. I hope it doesn't. I mean, I'd like for this to stay on there. But I just don't know yet because I'm leaning at the desk. But I can re sand it. I can re stand it, re sand it, and re stain it. Or, you know, I could. I could, I mean, that's possible too, that I could uh, have to clean all that off with murky soap and all, but I could, um, I could paint it white if I wanted to and distressed it and all, but I mean, I do like the wood and everything, it's going to have to be cleaned out and all that. So I could use it for like a little dresser, mirror dresser type thing, or just, I think I'm going to use it for a, a desk, and that's really cute, like I said that um that's you know can be done let me see yeah it can be unscrewed and redone that's not a problem whatsoever get some material that i like like a floral or stripes or whatever okay so there is that on that I wanted to show you that a little bit better and all. There's another piece over here I was gonna show you. It's a Victorian, um, I'm trying to find different Victorian things from next door and then things that I run into that are Victorian and all because um, I'm doing a Victorian room and I'm just trying to do it little by little. There's a better, there's a better picture of that. Okay, there's a better picture of that. Um, but I'm trying to do, um, Victorian um, room and also maybe an office Victorian and all but I mean I had this little it's over here I'll have to show you a little bit better the cat's been sitting on it and um, the Molly or not Molly but I mean Riley thinks he can sit on everything he thinks everything is his, his spot but I'll have to show you better okay and, and everything here in a few minutes and all I need to I guess it needs to be wiped off or whatever um it needs to be rolled because you know riley's been laying on it he thinks it's his personal bed but it's actually victorian um love seat and all and then like i said collecting things little by little just try to get this victorian thing room going and all and i just been trying to you know collect things as i go along um to antique places and thrift stores and stuff like that so i 
like enjoy going to thrift stores and stuff, antique stores, you know, yard sales, garage sales, whatever, next door. I like finding things, you know, um, that are different and unique and all, elegant, you know, Victorian era and all that kind of thing. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that the back part of it is, it's a beautiful chair, but the, like I said, the kitchen is not my colors. I would not even leave it like that. That's dirty and gross. But anyways, I'm getting back to the way I used to do things and how I used to be really organized. My dad was like, yeah, you're getting back to your um, old personality of having everything super organized and clean, super clean the way you used to live and all. So that's what I'm basically doing. But I just wanted to show you, it's a gorgeous flower. It's just beautiful, carved out on this chair and all. It's just beautiful. I just wanted to show you that as well. So anyways, thank you all for stopping by my channel. Please like and subscribe as always. Have a good day or night. Bye-bye.